Yo, what is going on, you Skulk and Score Bunny? Today we're playing some games with Picaram. Yep, Picaram is still one of the top decks in the Pokemon trading card game. And one of my top picks, personally, for the Players' Cup for uh, regional qualifier part of the uh, tournament. Um, yeah, because Picaram just felt really good recently, lately. And I thought I would show off my current build. Nothing special at all. Actually, just kind of maximum consistency. None of the uh, kind of more situational cards. Fan of Waves, Tool Scrapper, uh, Tag Switch... Um, the one thing I have been thinking about adding is second swell because Welder decks have been a little bit higher recently, but I feel like the Victini hype is starting to die off as well. So I haven't really committed to it. As the Victini hype was still kind of maintaining, I'd definitely consider a second swell because then you'd have like Tempozard plus the Victini deck. Um, so, but the Victini hype definitely seems to be dying off a little bit. So no, no second swell, just the just the one swell. But yeah, this is the list that I've been rocking. Felt like playing some Picaram today when I woke up. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get into some games. All right, here we go. Getting into our first one. We would not like to go first because that's not what Picaram wants. Picaram wants to go second. Um, Mulligan in our first hand. What about a pretty good hand? I actually really like the hands with turn one Yelgrunt because you can like do those turn one cheesy plays where you go like Electrify. So if we had, like opened a Bolton, we could have gone Electrify, Quick Waffle something Electrify to it plus Yelgrunt for turn, um, which are actually we might still be able to do that. We got the Yelgrunt back. We don't have a Pokemon to Electrify to just yet. But we do have the speed lightning energy so we go speed lightning hopefully draw into something if not we could go like yelgrunt eldegoss for yelgrunt and then electrify to eldegoss and then we can at least be hitting with bolt storm next turn which wouldn't be terrible to be honest but yeah we'll wait and see Ooh, we mulligan twice we'll see what our top deck is we'll see what the speed lightning gives us we'll see what our opponent's playing that's also going to be a factor into oof yeah, yelgrunt not super good against welder decks not gonna lie so we don't want to be yelgrunt in this turn it would be okay though to stop like a turn to flare strike so I wouldn't hate it, but it looks like they're actually setting up to the Victini here, uh, which once again, I still wouldn't hate Yell Grunting that because then that takes away the option for them to not play Welder for them. That means they have to play the Welder. All right, Speed Lightning, give me something good. All right, we got the Marty. Goodness, that would have been <laughs> so bad. Um, yep, go ahead and throw these cards back. Just as I was talking about, like Victini becoming less popular, we play up against the Victini immediately on the next game. And oh my gosh, uh, this is not looking great. Uh, let's go ahead and hearth away lightning energy here let's take a look peaks are there mewtwo's are there raichu is there the whole squad's there i wouldn't even mind electrifying to a bolt in this turn uh because we do have coco prism in the deck so that could help us out there uh, i wouldn't mind getting a question hammer heads here but i really just want a pokemon plenty of quick balls e-radar cherish ball so we got we got stuff let's see if the bat can pull it off for us yes okay we at least got the raichu crushing hammer heads to go with it love to see it um yeah we at least got the Raichu. it's not i'm not gonna lie it's not as good as a Mewtwo, because Full Blitz is probably the attack we want to go into on the next turn. But I don't mind going with Tandem Shock here on the following turn, actually. So we can go like, you know, Air Balloon to the Crobat, play the Marnie, see what we get. Um, and then go with the Tandem Shock, go with the Tandem Shock. We could get even like a Mewtwo attached to Mewtwo, Coco to Raichu and Mewtwo, Tandem Shock this turn, and then we can follow up with Full Blitz on the next turn. And it's also possible our opponent just doesn't do very much this turn they could whiff the weather like we got that crushing hammer head so now they just can't go attach max victory um that's why i would have been fine using yelgrunt off the rip there and if they get the welder for the double blaze they get the welder for the double blaze and we'll just kind of have to take that um you know just nothing we can do about it really uh there's a whiff on the pokey gear though so it looks like maybe a whiff from our opponent then i have to decide what i want to do here okay here comes a quick ball so they're not done yet so i want to go with bolt storm knockout or am I trying to go with the Tandem Shock? Or not Bolt Storm Knockout, Bolt Storm Hit. I wish Bolt Storm Knockout on the next turn, because then if they, if they whiffed Welder, we'd be in a really good spot. Um, escape Rope. Well, if I set up Raichu, they can't KO it. So I kind of like that idea, so I'm gonna do this. I'm, I'm gonna do the do the Raichu here and be like, all right, because if I set up the Crobat and then they have Welder to their Victini, they want to KO my Crobat, which doesn't sound very good. But then they get to hit my Raichu, which is actually pretty good, to be honest. Them hitting my Raichu is that's not bad that's not bad so i don't like that either maybe i just don't like anything that's going on here yeah i don't like any of this <laughs> here comes the welder where are they going to commit the energy are right, they so going with it to the victini if they went with it on the retro they would also need a switch card but i feel like going with the retro jar was so much better because only hitting me for 100 here hitting my retro for 100 here is just really weak it's not very strong um i guess i can follow up with double blaze for the ko on the next turn but now they need another welder uh and so on and so forth and i'm probably just gonna hit with bolton here to be honest <clears throat> i think that's what i'm gonna go for here We'll attach here, which, and then I'm, I think I just want to go with the research here. I want to draw those extra cards, get more options, which to be honest, didn't really happen. We didn't really get that many more options here. 
and yeah wow um wow 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 uh <laughs> i don't like this at all double phoebe i didn't even realize that um let's go with the crushing hammer and see what we get it's a head so we're gonna remove it from the reshi's yard yeah wow whoa um yeah Eesh. i just don't even we could attack with raichu and would force some switch cards but is this gonna be able to follow up for a knockout if i go attach coco next turn we won't even ko this next turn i'm thinking about hitting with bolton this turn but bolton we still wouldn't even set up to a ko for the raichu so maybe we have to hope they get paralyzed and can't do anything maybe they just won't be able to set up a double blaze because of the you know the crushing hammer heads and now we got access to the coco but i don't want to coco um, I mean, I could Coco here and here and then hit with that. But I think I'm just going to go for it. I'm kind of committed to the Tandem Shock at this point. I think I'm just going to go with it. Tandem Shock. Hope for the best. We just have to hope they don't get Switch, Welder, Double Blaze. That's really what we're trying to avoid here is Switch, Welder, Double Blaze. If they don't have that combination of cards, we're going to be in a pretty good spot. Because all the energy is set up on the Victini. I guess they could have like Heatran here. But even then, they would need at least two energy to use the GX attack. And then I'm not. I'm less scared of the Heatran play because it just doesn't really do as much for them. They're not as set up. So if they go with the Heatran play, I'm kind of fine with that. They Heatran this, we get to go Stamp, then we go into Bolton to set up a, a Mewtwo, uh, and then kind of go from there. So I'd be I'd be fine with that overall, to be honest. But it looks like they might have a pretty... I think they just went Hearth for one, if I'm not mistaken there. Check the logs. Uh, Yeah, played Giant Hearth, drew Fire. Okay, so now they have to get two more Fire Energy, even if they get the Welder and a Switch Guard, and now they're bench locked. So I'm, I'm liking the situation more and more, the more and more it develops, to be honest. I'm liking this more and more and more and more and more. Um, there's the Welder though, but do they have two energy? No two energy. So we know we are safe this turn. They cannot KO us. We're in an amazing spot now. We can get the KO with Bolton almost for sure here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that uh, Coco Prism. We have two in here now. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just Play the Mar Oh, switch, switch. Oof. That was close. I almost forgot to switch there. Play the Marnie. And we're looking for a good target for the Coco and somewhere to attach for turn as well. The Mewtwo, the energy, that's perfect. And we can Coco to the Mewtwo and the Bolton. I almost want to Coco to another Bolton, but I think this is just as good. Um, yeah, and I don't want to I don't want to attack with my Raichu here. I think I just want to attack with the Bolton here. Uh, and I'm not going to Dead Eye Change because I'm not really pressed to find any cards. I am going to Hearth because there is a reset stamp on the bottom of our deck and a Marnie. So I'm going to change this up. So maybe I'll top deck the Marnie and then I won't have to play the Detene at all on the following turn. But yeah, now Ballstorm gets a knockout. The Raichu came through clutch there with the Tandem Shock. That was huge. I didn't think there was a really better line of play. Like I said, I could have attacked with the Bolt in there, but that felt weird. Um, it just felt kind of weird. Like it felt like it wouldn't work very well. Um, and it ends up working out this way. So in a ridiculously good spot now, just have to two hit KO this Reshizard. Uh, and then we're going to take this one pretty handedly up against our opponent's Victini deck, uh, which is a good matchup. It is really is uh, a good matchup for the Picaram. And they weren't able to utilize their uh, Rapidash at all, which is a really good uh, Pokemon in this matchup, good attacker in this matchup. If they play it, I guess, they might not play the Rapidash. Um, okay, so the... Got three on the Rushy's Art, Heatran on the bench, ready to go. If we get a Crushing Hammer heads here, they can't even... Oh my gosh, three for three on the Crushing Hammers as well. We have been flipping well. Um... Now, these are the kind of turns... Well, I don't know if I want this big charm. I don't know if we're... I think I want it on the Bolt end, actually. These are the kind of turns where you do want a Dead Eye Change aggressively because we are looking for boss to close out the game. So we're trying to thin out our deck as much as possible, put as many cards in play as possible, um, and just kind of uh, play, through the, play through the deck as much as possible. So that way, uh, less cards in the deck, and then... Gotta get the... P I, I forgot we have to get peek around if we want a full blitz. Um, so that way we have a higher chance of seeing boss's orders. And there's our boss's orders right there. We still have triple lightning in the deck as well. So when we full blitz here, it's going to get a lot. Uh, full blitz. Uh, I could have tandem shocked here as well. Um, but then if they get the welder for three on the Heatran and then KO me, then we only have a Raichu Raichu with uh, three energy. And I mean, I guess that would KO this, but they could also stamp us. Um, and then that could get kind of weird. So having the second attacker set up, I think that can hit a little bit harder and actually just one hit KO the Heatran, I think is going to be a little bit better here. And especially when Outrage doesn't KO the Bolton back, puts us in a pretty good spot. Um, but, uh, was it? Okay, this is like, these are the times I know I talk about a lot when you don't want a dead eye change. Those are the times where you do want a dead eye change. So I dead eye changed. Um, I guess I needed to dead eye change because I needed the Pikaram. <laughs> I didn't need the Pikaram. I could have gone with Tandem Shock, right? Like I, I could have gone with Tandem Shock. That would have been fine overall, to be honest. So could have done that. Uh, but... Dead change works out a little bit better. 
thins out the deck a little bit more. We get to use the full blitz, which is definitely more um, good, more good. Always good to be more good. And yeah, pretty easy dub over the Victini V Max. Like I said, pretty good matchup. So not too surprised, um, but pretty smooth nonetheless for the Picaram. Another coin flip win, another let's go second. Uh, and we'll see what we get here on our start. A nice Bolton start as well. Got the Bolton, got the energy. I might research first before attaching because we could get a speed lighting and that could find us our target to electrify to. I don't really want to put Tatene in play unnecessarily. So we're probably going to research that away. We have so many outs to find, you know, an attacker. We got two Picaram, the Raichu, the two Mewtwo. I mean, depending on the matchup, we might not want some of them. Like, I mean, we could be up against Rapid Strike here. They are playing Stellar Wish, which isn't found in a ton of decks anymore these days uh it's in a couple decks not a whole ton anymore so could be playing that there goes a catic swell zation i've i don't know adp maybe adp with stellar wish it's been a while since i've seen that maybe just some kind of turbo zation with stellar wish is what i'm thinking now because they didn't grab adp turn one which is what you usually do when you're playing adp so, yeah, i'm not sure i'm not sure we're up against here let's get a crush hammer heads real fast or not um, I'm debating if I want to dig for that speed lightning or not. I think we'll be fine without digging for it. Um, or having the extra option of it. So I think I'm just going to go attach and then research. I don't want to put the Dene in play. Um, there's a speed lightning, but we did get the out to the attacker. And if it's ADP, we really don't, man, it is ADP. We really don't want to grab Pikaram, but this hand is looking really bad if we don't grab Pikaram. So, I mean, we could go, we could go. Pikaram. I think we just have to go Pikaram here. Um, but even if it isn't ADP, if they play Rusted Sword, that's going to be really bad for us anyways. It's just, it's, this just doesn't feel good in general. I'm not going to lie. I kind of wish I hadn't attached that lighting and then I got the speed lighting to help me get a couple more cards to work with here because that would have actually been pretty big potentially to get a couple more cards to work with here. Um, kind of stuck on this one. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what I want to grab here. Pikaram just doesn't feel that good. Feel that bad, I guess. Then I get to put the speed lighting on it next turn. Maybe we find the big charm to protect it from that rusted sword line of play. But then again, maybe they find the tool scrapper if they play one. And once again, we don't know if it's ADP. We don't know if it's just come some kind of straight Zation deck. Um, oh boy. <laughs> of course, it's the worst possible scenario for me, which is Urshifu Zation. Um, Jirachi. Yeah, the worst possible uh deck that it could be urshifu zation okay so it's a bad matchup because well it's a tough situation now because i've committed to pikaram being like okay it's a metal deck and then or more metal based and then they're all of a sudden like all right urshifu and it's like well pikaram is weak to fighting so that kind of stinks for us we would have loved to have a mewtwo here instead not happening gonna have to deal with the urshifu now <clears throat> um we can put the speed lighting down we can we can full blitz to a mewtwo though we'll full blitz to a mewtwo and then hopefully that uh can get us out of this uh interesting situation uh that has developed which involves you know urshifu v max now all of a sudden that we have to deal with so hopefully yeah hopefully it can get us out of this uh unfortunate situation we'll see though we'll see we'll see if it can get us there or not uh stellar wish they got a marnie for next turn they have a massive hand so i would love to marnie my opponent here just to find the marnie uh, but yeah, I would love to Marnie my opponent here because they got a whole ton going on. Here comes the Intrepid Sword. Yeah, Marnie would be great. They've got a huge hand, a bunch set up, like a ridiculous amount of stuff set up that we have to now deal with. So we're starting with the Speed Lightning here. A couple quick balls. Got the Big Charm. Um, Big Charm doesn't really do as much anymore as uh, we'd want it to. We can go Quick Ball away at Bolton. Grab the Mewtwo. I could Dede change this turn. I only have one Marnie in the deck. Do I actually have no Marnie? I prize three Marnie. What? That's a lot of Marnie prize. Maybe I just won't be too aggressive here at all this turn. Yeah, I think I'm just not going to be aggressive at all this turn. I grab the Mewtwo, put it down, switch full blitz. Um, and then we're going to kind of go from there. I could grab, no, I think we're going to go with the full blitz here. I could grab Coco here and Coco to the Mewtwo and the Bolton. But um, also if I Dede change here, I could draw into too many energy and then not be able to full blitz three. So. I think it's best to just take it slow. It stinks to like let them have this huge hand. We are likely to get a Marnie after prize cards as we did because there is three of them prized. <laughs> um, so we have that for next turn, I guess, if they don't Marnie us. I have a feeling I have a feeling they might not, to be honest, because they have such a huge hand. Uh, they might just have enough options around for this turn and the next turn. But yeah, here comes that Urshifu. That's going to be so hard for us to deal with, to be honest. I don't even know how we're going to go about this situation anymore because that's just going to be ridiculously hard to deal with. Oh my gosh, we're just going to get 
wrecked here. Here comes the Shadow Box Mewtwo. So our goal now is Bolton KO the Mimikyu. Did I say Mewtwo? KO the Mimikyu. Because they're going to go knock out Picaron, put 120 on my Mewtwo with this uh, this G-Max Rapid Flow. And then our goal is Bolton KO Mimikyu. But we also want to like reset stamp him this turn because then they're just like uh, a Zacian attack away from KOing my Mewtwo as well. So that's not very good either. So there's a Marnie from my opponent. So that's good to see for us, actually, to be honest, because we need, we need the energy. Um, we need the boss. We don't have the boss in hand. We want a stamp. This is none of that. Uh, they're going to lose all their energy on their, their Urshifu, but I don't think it's that big of a deal for them, to be honest. I think we're just going to kind of get wrecked here, to be honest. We'll see. Um, we might just have to hit with both in this turn, but that sounds terrible. What an unfortunate situation. Three. Okay, so we're going to... We kind of have to hit with Bolton. I hope the top deck like boss or Crobat or Dedenne. Yelgrunt's not terrible. I don't hate Yelgrunt this turn because it might stop them from actually being able to get a knockout. Um, but I feel like I almost have to be a little bit more aggressive than that and go with the research. We got to unlock our Mewtwo at some point. So going after our Crushing Hammer is probably going to be the better way to go. Okay, got a Tails. That's not great. We got the Stamp. And here's where I think I actually will bat. Try and draw a crushing hammer. I think removing the energy off the station is super important so the Bolton doesn't get knocked out. So we're going to go ahead, dig a little bit deeper with this Crobat. Did not find anything. So now we're just going to have to hope. Uh, I mean, we could retreat to the other Mewtwo and pass, but that seems awful. Uh, <laughs> what an awful scenario. Um, hmm. Hmm. We could retreat to the other Mewtwo and pass, I guess. That's like the, what, the other play I'm seeing here because hitting this isn't that great. We don't even have the boss in hand, but we could dedicate into it next turn. We'd also need a switch then at that point. Um, yeah, maybe just retreat to Mewtwo pass and then try and unlock our Mewtwo after KOing Mimikyu. But at that point, this Mim Mewtwo still die, still gets knocked out by Zacian. I don't know what to do here. We got a crushing hammer head, so I would have felt way more comfortable going bolt and hit the Urshifu. Uh, we, we could have electrified that turn to this Mewtwo. That wouldn't have been terrible, actually. If I had electrified, yeah, I could have electrified with this bolt into this Mewtwo. <clears throat> I mean, still not great, I don't think, overall, but. That would have been something, I guess. Electrify with this Bolton to this Mewtwo. And what are we doing next turn, you know? It doesn't seem like we have a whole ton of options. They got the Metal Saucer, but if they don't have a way to move the Mewtwo or move the Jirachi, they can't hit the Mewtwo. They also have more than that. They got a boss as well. Yeah, they haven't played a supporter yet. They have research. Okay, it's not boss. Still not great for us. And actually, they didn't even attach return. They could have attached that energy over here on the Urshifu. I guess they keep it open to Metal Saucer to another station possibly but I don't, I don't know it's just attaching it to the urshifu seems uh seems fine i guess it does get it in the disco power for metal saucer future metal saucer um they can even metal saucer to drachi in this matchup there's the hit on the mewtwo okay what is the plan i think it has to be bolt and hit the zation um we can actually go bolt and ko the zation to be honest get a crushing hammer tails um we could get Bolton KO Station. Another Crushing Hammer. Two more Speed Lightning to hit the Discard Pile. Another Tails on the Crushing Hammer. Uh, most unfortunate. Uh, grab this Picaram. And then I think we're just going to research. I could have Dead changed, but I don't really want to. Got the Coco. Got the Stamp. Did not get the What's It Called yet, though. Hold up. So we got to go like Bench Bolton. Quick Ball Away Boss. Grab something to discard, which is another Bolton. Then grab the Coco. Did not get the Switch. We only have one Switch left. Actually, I have to be careful. So I don't deck out. I just realized I have a Marnie for next turn, so that's fine. We can bench the Coco, pop the Coco here and here. Um, and we are really hoping our opponent just doesn't have energy for this thing to attack. Uh, otherwise, I think we do just lose. So then Dede change, drawing all but one card left in our deck, and hopefully finding the switch. If it was the last card, would have been in trouble. Um, here we go. Bolt Storm knockout. Okay, so we KO the station. So if our opponents oh my gosh, we can't play boss next turn though. We can't <laughs> We can't boss next turn because uh, we have to Marnie or, or we deck out. So we have to Marnie or we deck out. So we can't play boss. So that kind of stinks. That We would love to have boss this turn. Maybe I shouldn't have even thinned out the Coco there. And I should have gone. Well, no, I have to thin out the Coco there. Otherwise, I don't have room for the Coco on the bench if I dead change first. So I had to Coco there. Kind of stinks the way it went. I like this engine, though, that our opponent's rocking. The Bird Keeper, Stellar Wish. Maybe I'll try some Bird Keepers in my Rapid Strike. Jirachi build myself because... Uh, yeah, it could be pretty good. I don't know. I kind of like those. I like the bird keepers. I like the bird keepers a lot. Here comes the G Max Rapid Flow, though, and we're cooked. Yeah, tough matchup against the Zacian deck, especially when it's unexpected. If it was expected, we could have played a little bit differently. 
tried to play for a second Bolton a little bit more aggressively to have an answer to the Mimikyu. Uh, and then set up, definitely set up Mewtwo over the Pikaram initially. And who knows, maybe they don't get the Mimikyu out that early with the damage on my Mewtwo so I can get a full blitz off before the Mimikyu comes into play. And then we try and go for that a second Bolton play to KO the Mimikyu. So knowing what my opponent's playing there would have been huge. We didn't. And we're going to take an L. Um, still tough, even if we do know. But uh, let's see if we can't get a dub in the last one. All right, we're doing it again. We won the coin flip again. Um, so we'll go second because peak around. Um, And let's see what we open up with. Not as good as our previous starts, but we got the Coco start, which isn't bad. And we'd rather open that than the Dene. And we got the Quick Ball, get the Bolt into. Then we just need a target and a switch card. And let's see what our opponent's playing. They did Mulligan, so we'll have some idea. Heat Energy, Welder, Tool Scrapper, Tag Call, Quick Ball. I mean, I would guess greens reshizard to be honest i don't know that's what that's my guess though greens rush that looks like a greens reshizard mulligan but it could be some other kind of welder deck as well six mulligans so, so i'm like once again guess greens reshizard <laughs> and yeah uh greens reshizard is what we're up against almost for sure with this volk start um so six mulligans not bad good start for us bad start for my opponent so i don't want to be too aggressive with mewtwo in this matchup because my opponent probably does play um power plant maybe a couple of them so we want to be more aggressive with pikaram into right you right you stuff like that quick ball to mewtwo i'm gonna grab that bolton here looks like we did prize one of them but that's not a big deal we might even go with yell grunt this turn as our supporter and hold on to that crushing hammer just removing any energy from play can be pretty effective so yeah just want to take advantage of that go ahead throw an air balloon here um get the cherish ball grab myself I think just the right right to already set it up put it in play because we're gonna we're gonna set up the, the peak around and then we're gonna full blitz to the right right you that's just kind of the game plan I'm just gonna play the yell grunt like I don't really want to play any of my other supporters as a supporter it removes the energy for turn so now that energy is that much more set back from my opponent they can't attach somewhere else on their turn and yeah just set up the peak around looking for some full blitz next turn and maybe we could even just settle with a boss bolt storm on whatever tag team they go to set up actually that might be a little bit better of a play to be honest we might go with that just like Attach, boss, crushing hammer. They might reset stamp us as well. I doubt they play Marnie. Um, usually don't play Marnie in Green Zard. You want to be Welder and you want to be playing Green. So they might reset stamp us though. We still have an eight card hand. Um, but they don't have any tag teams out yet. They got to find those. They got the Greens. And they also got to find some energy for turn. So they might go with like a, uh, uh, you know what it is, Hearth. <laughs> Might go with something like a hearth instead so we'll wait and see what they actually do but i imagine something like that is probably what is going to happen here um we'll see we'll see also just marnie my opponent in this matchup is just super strong just playing marnie against green stacks is just really good so but when they go first like this and they're kind of struggling being aggressive and kind of just punching their tag teams over and over and over again just kind of putting the pressure on is also a really good way to uh to kind of close out games against and this is a good matchup for us as well like Igaram, up against the green start is just a really good matchup for Pikaram. uh so good matchup for us yeah so just kind of go i think just going to attach boss next turn is going to be our line here and then just like start hitting tag teams we don't really want to ko the vaults because then we can if we ko two baby vaults and then one tag team we end up in a situation where then all of a sudden we're getting uh stamped down to one which is what we want to do to them <laughs> um or let them stamp us to three is also fine if they want to stamp us to three we're like all right that's cool that's fine we don't really care about that um but them stamping us to one definitely not something we're all about definitely something we're not about so don't really want to kale the volks to begin with anyways to be honest we want to be hitting the the big the big tag teams all right so let's get some crushing hammer value real fast maybe not all right attach then boss and yeah punch with bolt storm like i said hit it with the bolt storm 130 uh sets up for the the tag bolt knockout on the next turn we don't have to save tag all for a huge attack so i wouldn't i don't mind tag bolting this just get out of the way and then start focusing their next tag team which they will have to come up with eventually they could outrage here but that seems a little bit weak so i doubt that's going to be the play for my opponent but it could be um then we have marnie for the next turn and that's what you kind of do against these greens decks is you just kind of sit there and you're like all right marnie they build up their hand all right marnie they use greens to set up their hand for next turn all right marnie so on and so forth he's kind of just like marnie them and uh continuously give them subpar hands for uh theoretically like the whole game so that's like kind of the game plan here and what we're going to try and do I guess another play I could do here is I could go with uh, another Bolt, uh, Bolton next turn to get the knockout for 160 because we could get five energy in play next turn between Coco putting energy in play, then attach to Bolton. So I might go Quick Ball for a Bolton and then Marnie, see what we draw, um, <clears throat> and then kind of go from there. Because yeah, Full Blitz doesn't quite cut it. But if we, get a, if we do get a Crushing Hammer Heads on the Heat energy, it actually would cut it. So we could also even go Quick Ball for Goss, Goss return the Heat energy, Full Blitz knockout. That would also be a fine 
line to take but we'll wait and see what our opponent actually does it looks like they whiffed energy sad no double blaze which would be okay here to be honest but to be honest it's not that great KOing the bolt and sets up for my stamp to one which is something they don't really want to walk into so <clears throat> I, I would be kind of fine if they take this knockout it sets up uh for my late game stamp to one stuff like that so <clears throat> I really wouldn't mind too much if that's what they went with here um here comes a great catcher that's actually not going to be bad though outrage onto my right you right you I assume to just kind of <clears throat> excuse me bring it into the active trap it for a turn maybe um oh going after my Pikaram actually okay I don't like that as much because now I can air balloon to the Pikaram and retreat it uh there's a fan all right all right they're getting some they're getting some work done here yeah I'm not I can't full blitz yet I mean like I said crushing hammerheads top deck energy no top deck energy I could go I mean I'm just gonna see if it's in there I could go quick ball for Goss for yell and dead a change but then I lose like all of my draw supporters but I'm likely to draw an energy and then full blitz knockout would happen which would set me up super well from here so I kind of want to go for it so let's just go for it I'm down although I run out of such run out of boss as well maybe I don't like this play as much anymore nah I think we're good I think we're good all right we're gonna do it <laughs> I like uh no we're good we have one boss left that'll be more than enough that I change let's get this full blitz let's get up an absurd amount of energy in play easy full blitz don't draw too many energy though I still want to full blitz someone to play all right full blitz yeah then we're gonna the the Pikram is probably not getting knocked out next turn so next turn we can full blitz again once again getting an absurd amount of energy in play we still have Coco to to fall back on as well to get more energy in play uh, and then once we find this last boss the Bolt Storm is going to be one hit KO and <clears throat> one hit KO and uh their next tag team so we're just gonna get an absurd amount of energy in play probably Marty our opponent next turn uh on this one yeah there's a rush up we're just gonna get yeah an absurd amount of energy in play and then Bolt Storm's gonna do work we have one boss left but that's all we need to to bring this up and threaten it so just need that one that's it and we're good uh, we still have to decide I'll probably put the big charm on the Bolton because they still have access to double blaze and um I don't really like that they have access to double blaze so we're gonna probably put it on the Bolton I think the the big charm just so they can't double blaze Bolton I take away that option from my opponent you know they have a welder in hand we don't really know the rest of their hand though doesn't do a whole ton for us here comes another tag call so Rushy Zard Mal and Lana or that was Break Zard actually Break Zard plus Mal and Lana so they play the Break Zard not gonna really change anything in this game I don't think I don't have a great target to full blitz to I can actually full blitz to the Eldegoss which I think I will do so I think we'll go speed lightning here big charm Marnie <laughs> yes I think we'll full blitz to Eldegoss it's possible we actually use float up here to get access to Eldegoss again to be able to recover boss so that's gonna be that could be pretty good um we got some crushing hammers to work with let's go ahead and get rid of that heat energy there we go swell in play is also really nice and then yeah full blitz knock this thing out I'm gonna load up two of these on the goss uh because we could just go switch float up next turn get some more access to boss I don't hate that so I think that's what we might go with especially it does all depend on what my opponent does for turn but I do like that idea and they're just going straight up with the Reshizard I sense a potential double blaze coming down it looks like they maybe drew pretty well pretty well off the Marty two fire plus the welder uh do they have the third fire even if they do though like I said Bolton swinging with that bolt storm six seven eight nine ten we'll lose three get two back so we'll have nine which KOs Reshizard even if they get a heat energy if they get a big charm we do need to find an energy but if they uh if they only get like a heat energy we do still KO and even if they get the big charm we could find an attachment for turn which would still work so six seven eight uh or wait what seven eight nine yeah, we have eight we have access to nine energy next turn if they knock it out and they only have the knockout so we got the nine which is 270 so we're gonna get the dub here over green so like I said good matchup kind of went as we wanted to I did that cheeky play with that goss plus that I change which um wasn't like a risky play it was likely to happen but I don't know how necessary it was for me to be that aggressive you know so I could have played it a little bit slower I think for sure um didn't have to be that aggressive but I don't felt like a cool play to take on the turn so we did it and we still had a boss left so we still had some way to like interact with our opponent's tag team it was our one of our last prize cards though so to be honest <laughs> if I had known that I probably would not have made that play but worked out in the end I guess anyways guys hope you enjoyed the games of Pikaram still a powerhouse in the meta and I'll see you tomorrow